Hello Fame Story TV family, and welcome back to our channel. In the last 24 hours, we have received the sad news of the passing of the extraordinary talents, and today's episode is dedicated to honoring their memory. Additionally, we will recap the stars whom we have recently lost. Before we start, we kindly ask for your support if this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your heart. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Warm welcome to One Way. Yesterday, as you recall... Chris Searle is a British television presenter and actor, best known for his work in the 1970s and 1980s. He started his career as a BBC reporter before becoming a familiar face on popular shows like That's Life, a consumer affairs program that tackled everyday issues. Searle gained further recognition for hosting In at the Deep End, a unique series where he was tasked with learning challenging new skills, such as conducting an orchestra or performing in a West End play, often with humorous results. In addition to his presenting roles, Searle appeared in comedy sketches and made significant contributions to BBC documentaries. His approachable, easygoing style made him a favorite with audiences. Though he has stepped back from the spotlight in recent years, Searle's career left a lasting impression on British television, known for his engaging and versatile on-screen presence. I, I think it's a great time to start a magazine. I'm optimistic. Roy Ryman is an American entrepreneur and publisher, best known for founding Riemann Publications, a company that built a loyal following through its niche magazines. Born and raised on a farm in Iowa, Ryman developed a strong connection to rural life, which influenced his career in publishing. He started by creating Farm Wife News in 1965, a magazine catering to rural women. Over time, he expanded his portfolio with popular titles like Country, Taste of Home, and Reminisce, focusing on wholesome, family-friendly content that appealed to rural and small-town readers. Raymond Publications became successful for its unique approach. No advertising in its magazines, relying entirely on subscriptions and reader-contributed content. This model fostered a strong sense of community among readers. At its peak, Riemann's company had millions of subscribers before he sold it in the 1990s. Roy Ryman's pioneering publishing vision remains influential in specialty and niche magazine markets today. Barbara Lee Hunt is a British actress known for her extensive work in film, television, and theater. Born on December 14, 1935, in Bath, England, she trained at the Bristol Old Vic Theatre School. Lee Hunt made her mark on the stage, performing in numerous productions with the Royal Shakespeare Company and the National Theatre, earning acclaim for her classical roles in plays by Shakespeare, Chekhov, and Ibsen. In film, she is perhaps best known for her role as Barbara, the murder victim, in Alfred Hitchcock's Frenzy. 1972. Lee Hunt also had a prolific television career, with notable appearances in series such as Pride and Prejudice, 1995, and The Tenant of Wildfell Hall, 1996. Her commanding presence and refined acting style have made her a respected figure in the British entertainment industry. Though she has stepped back from the spotlight in recent years, her contributions to stage and screen remain influential. Peter Taboris is a renowned American conductor, music director, and impresario, best known for his work in classical music and opera. Born in 1947, Taboris founded the Manhattan Philharmonic, Mid-America Productions, and Mid-Am International, making significant contributions to global music performance. Over the span of his career, Taboris has conducted major works in prestigious venues like Carnegie Hall, and brought international attention to classical music by organizing and leading concerts and festivals worldwide, including in Greece, Italy, and Austria. As an impresario, Taboris has provided opportunities for numerous choirs, orchestras, and soloists, establishing his organizations as key platforms for both emerging and established musicians. His collaborations with leading artists have earned him recognition as a pivotal figure in the classical music community. With a career spanning decades, Peter Taboris remains a respected conductor and an influential figure in expanding the reach of classical music across the globe. 
Pym was then re-elected in May of 2013 with Pat Pym is a Canadian politician who served as a member of the Legislative Assembly, MLA, for Peace River North in British Columbia. Elected in 2009 as a representative of the BC Liberal Party, Pym's political career focused on issues affecting northern communities, particularly in the areas of agriculture, natural resources, and economic development. Before entering politics, Pym was a businessman and farmer, which provided him with insights into the needs of rural communities. During his time in office, he held several key positions, including Parliamentary Secretary for Agriculture. Pym was known for his advocacy on behalf of his constituency and his efforts to promote sustainable development in the region. He retired from politics in 2017 after an active and often outspoken career. Pym's work left a lasting impact on the northern region of British Columbia, particularly in promoting the importance of rural issues at the provincial level. Zulia Kamalova is an acclaimed Russian-Australian singer, songwriter, and composer, known for her unique fusion of Tatar, Russian, and Western musical styles. Born in Tatarstan, Russia, Zulia moved to Australia in the early 1990s, where she gained recognition for her powerful voice and deeply emotive music that blends folk traditions with jazz, world music, and contemporary influences. Performing both solo and with her band, Zulia and the Children of the Underground, she has released multiple award-winning albums, including Three Nights and The Waltz of Emptiness, which showcase her talent for storytelling through music. Zulia's work is deeply influenced by her Tatar heritage, and she often sings in Tatar, Russian, and English, creating a distinctive sound that resonates with audiences globally. Over her career, Zulia has won several prestigious awards, including ARIA awards, and continues to tour internationally, sharing her rich, multicultural musical vision with the world. After I first started going through the test, they were, um, they were pretty big. Eduardo Jol is a versatile American designer, TV personality, and producer, best known for his role on the hit reality series Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Born in Los Angeles to Mexican-American parents, Sol started his career as a concert pianist and later shifted into the entertainment industry, becoming an actor and musician. He gained widespread recognition as a landscape designer on Extreme Makeover Home Edition, where his creative and sustainable designs transformed homes for families in need. His innovative approach to design, which often incorporates eco-friendly elements, earned him praise both on and off the screen. Beyond television, Sol has worked as an author and advocate for Hispanic and underprivileged communities. He is also involved in philanthropic efforts, focusing on education and youth development. Eduardo Scholl continues to balance his work in design, entertainment, and community outreach, becoming an influential figure in both the creative and social impact spheres. Daniel Fanago is an esteemed Argentine actor with a prolific career spanning film, television, and theater. Born in Buenos Aires in 1949, Fanago began his acting journey in the early 1970s and quickly became a prominent figure in Argentine entertainment. Known for his versatility, he has portrayed a wide range of characters across genres, earning critical acclaim for his performances in both dramatic and comedic roles. In cinema, Fanego has appeared in notable Argentine films such as El Secreto de Sus Ojos and Todos Tenemos un Plan, gaining recognition for his compelling screen presence. He has also been a frequent presence on television, starring in popular telenovelas and series that have solidified his status as a household name. Fanego's extensive work in theater further showcases his talent, where he has been involved in numerous prestigious productions. With a career that spans five decades, Daniel Fanego remains one of Argentina's most respected and enduring actors. Victor D. Norman is a prominent Norwegian economist, professor, and former politician. Born in 1946, he earned his PhD in economics from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, and went on to become a leading academic figure in Norway. Norman is widely recognized for his contributions to economic theory, particularly in the areas of international trade and regional economics. 
he served as a professor at the Norwegian School of Economics, NHH, where he was also rector from 1999 to 2001. In addition to his academic career, Norman played a significant role in Norwegian politics as the Minister of Labor and Government Administration from 2001 to 2004 in the Bondevik government. During his time in office, he implemented important reforms in the public sector, known for his sharp intellect and influence in both academia and government. Victor D. Norman continues to be an influential voice in economic and public policy debates in Norway. Wanna see me dance? Kat Glover is an American dancer, choreographer, and singer best known for her work with legendary musician Prince during the 1980s. Born and raised in Chicago, Glover's dynamic dance style and stage presence caught the attention of Prince, who invited her to join his band as a lead dancer and backing vocalist. She became a key figure in his Sign of the Times era performing in his concerts and starring in the accompanying film. Glover's bold, high-energy performances helped define Prince's live shows, where her unique dance moves and charisma stood out. Beyond her work with Prince, she has collaborated with other artists as a dancer and choreographer, establishing herself in the entertainment industry. In addition to her dancing career, Glover has pursued music, releasing tracks of her own that reflect her eclectic influences. Kat Glover remains a respected figure in the world of dance and performance, known for her influential contributions to pop music and stagecraft. Roberto Froda is a distinguished Brazilian actor, playwright, and screenwriter, celebrated for his contributions to Brazilian theater, television, and film. Born in Rio de Janeiro, Froda began his career in the 1970s, quickly establishing himself as a versatile and talented performer. His work spans across multiple genres, from comedy to drama, making him a well-recognized figure in Brazil's entertainment industry. In television, Froda has appeared in popular telenovelas and series, becoming a familiar face to Brazilian audiences. His acting talent also shines on the big screen, where he has participated in numerous acclaimed films. As a playwright, Froda has written several plays that have been performed on stages across Brazil, demonstrating his skill in crafting engaging and thought-provoking stories. With a career spanning decades, Roberto Froda continues to be a respected figure in Brazilian culture, known for his dedication to the arts and his wide-ranging impact on both stage and screen. Francis Fox is a prominent Canadian lawyer, politician, and public servant. Best known for his tenure as a member of parliament and cabinet minister in liberal government, Born in 1939 in Montreal, Quebec, Fox entered politics in the 1970s after studying law at McGill University. He served as a liberal MP for several terms, representing various Quebec ridings. During his political career, Fox held key cabinet positions, including Solicitor General and Minister of Communications. He played a pivotal role in shaping Canada's telecommunications and broadcasting policies and was instrumental in key legislative reforms. After leaving active politics, Fox continued his public service as a legal advisor and business leader, contributing to various public and private sector initiatives. Throughout his career, Francis Fox earned a reputation for his dedication to public service, expertise in legal matters, and commitment to progressive policymaking. He remains a respected figure in Canadian political and legal circles. Rocky Morin is a former American racing driver best known for his success in sports car racing and his participation in open-wheel competition. Born in 1950, Morin rose to prominence in the 1980s as a skilled and competitive driver in the IMSA GT Championship, where he claimed multiple victories driving for top teams. His prowess behind the wheel also led him to compete in prestigious races like the 24 Hours of Daytona and the 12 Hours of Sebring. Morin also had stints in open-wheel racing, including appearances in the Kart IndyCar series, where he made several starts, showcasing his versatility across racing disciplines. Though his career in kart was brief, his sports car racing achievements solidified his reputation as a respected driver. After retiring from professional racing, Moran remained active in the motorsports community, contributing to racing as a mentor and through his involvement in his family's racing ventures. 
his legacy endures in American motorsports. Honey Williams is an American singer and songwriter famous for his deep, soulful voice. Born in Los Angeles in 1963, he developed a love for music at an early age, inspired by gospel and soul music. Williams began his music career in the 1990s after moving to Europe, where he gained popularity by mixing soul, funk, and jazz styles. He is well known for songs like Come Back to Me and Saturday, and has worked with various artists and producers, creating a unique sound that blends classic soul with modern influences. His rich baritone voice often reminds listeners of legends like Barry White and Isaac Hayes. Throughout his career, Cunny Williams has released several albums and has become an important figure in the soul and R&B music scenes, especially in Europe. His music continues to resonate with fans who enjoy a mix of classic soul and contemporary rhythms. Drag, right? And a rather pretty young drag queen. Bet Bourne is a British actor, drag performer, and LGBTQ plus rights activist recognized for his important contributions to the queer community in the UK. Born Peter Bourne in London in 1939, he began his career as a traditional stage actor but embraced drag performance in the 1970s. Bourne became a key member of the Gay Liberation Front, fighting for LGBTQ plus rights during a time when discrimination was common. In the 1970s, he founded the drag group Blue Lips, which was known for its bold and funny performances that challenged traditional ideas about gender and sexuality. He became a well-loved figure in British theater, mixing activism with entertainment and using humor and art to promote equality. Bettborn's legacy is not just in his vibrant performances, but also in his strong commitment to LGBTQ activism, making him an important cultural icon and a pioneer in the fight for LGBTQ plus rights in the UK. Pete Wade is an American country music guitarist, known for his incredible talent and contributions to the Nashville music scene. As a respected session musician, he has collaborated with some of the biggest names in country music, including legends like Johnny Cash, George Jones, and Loretta Lynn. Throughout his career, Wade gained a reputation for his versatility and ability to adapt to different styles within country music. His guitar work has been featured on countless recordings, making him a significant behind-the-scenes figure in shaping the sound of country music over the years. Wade's influence and contributions to the genre have made him one of Nashville's top session guitarists, playing an important role in many classic country hits. Michelle Fazari is a Canadian wrestler celebrated for her accomplishments in freestyle wrestling. She was born on July 10, 1987, in Hamilton, Ontario, and has competed at both national and international levels. Fazari has represented Canada in various events, including the Pan American Games and the World Wrestling Championships, where she earned medals and recognition for her talent and hard work. One of the highlights of her career came in 2017, when she won a bronze medal at the World Wrestling Championships. Throughout her journey, Fazari has been a strong supporter of women's wrestling and continues to inspire young athletes with her achievements and dedication to the sport. Michael Douglas is a well-known American actor and producer with a career in Hollywood that has lasted over 50 years. He was born on September 25, 1944, in New Brunswick, New Jersey, and is the son of the famous actor Kirk Douglas. Michael gained fame in the 1970s with his role in the TV series The Streets of San Francisco and went on to star in successful films like Wall Street, 1987, for which he won an Academy Award for Best Actor, as well as Fatal Attraction, 1987, and Basic Instinct, 1992. He also produced important films, including One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, 1975, which won the Oscar for Best Picture. Douglas is known for taking on a variety of roles, showcasing his talent in dramas, thrillers, and comedies. In 2010, he made headlines when he revealed that he had been diagnosed with stage 4 throat cancer, later specified as tongue cancer. His public fight with the illness attracted a lot of attention as he underwent chemotherapy and radiation. In 2011, 
He announced that his cancer was in remission, but he continues to monitor his health closely. In recent years, Douglas has stayed active in acting and producing. He has also become an advocate for cancer awareness, using his experience to emphasize the importance of early detection and treatment. Despite his past health challenges, he has shown resilience and continues to work on various film and television projects, remaining a respected figure in Hollywood. Thank you for joining us on episode of Fame Story TV, where we remember and pay tribute to the lives and stories of remarkable people who have left us today. If this video touched your heart, please consider honoring their memory by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. See you in the next episode.